Hey guys, this is Shorty. Welcome back to my Uncharted 4 Survival Mode Crushing Difficulty Solo 30 Stars video series. This is stage 3, Prison, um, our first stage with the Treasure Hunt Wave, actually. And it is probably the most difficult of the non-boss stages. And that is mainly because of the very small time frame here. If you want to pull this off, you have to practice a lot and you have to be lucky, sadly, because Wave 13 has at least some RNG to it. So practice all the waves and try to memorize my path from Wave 15 since I'm pretty sure it's the fastest way. So let's go. As usual, we start off with the loadout. It's, by the way, the only time I did this stage on three stars, and I have no intention to repeat that, so I am very glad I recorded it. Um, the loadout. We need Enhanced Raider 2. We need Prize Fighter 3 and Speedy G3, since it's all about time. And the Mystical Expert 2 is optional. If you don't have it, it you will save about 10 seconds in the last wave with Mystical Expert 2 perfectly executed. So, um, I don't know. It's not a necessity. Keep that in mind. You can do it without it. This time we are Chloe and Nadine, actually. Our The Lost Legacy Girls. Um, wave 11. Wave 11 is a survival wave. You want to go down here. Stop at the circuit for a moment. And wait till the enemy spawns. Run over to the other side, shoot the first one here, and maybe shoot the second one if he doesn't run into you. Now he ran into me, I shot him, that depends, it's a bit random. Go back where you started, and about four to five guys will have spawned here. Just punch them. These sniper guys can be a bit tricky, uh, because every now and then they try to backpedal away from you. And don't run after them. That's a waste of time, just shoot them. Like this one. And keep an eye on your minimap. Um, the red dots are your friends. So this is it. Wave 1 is done. With 47 seconds. Which is actually quite good. I had 46 seconds once. But yeah. 47 is fine. Try to aim for the 50. If you have 50 seconds, you're in the clear. For the upcoming wave, you want to loot the 2-4 M-T sniper rifles. Dropped by the two snipers you killed. And it's again a survival wave, and it's basically the same. Just wait on the circuit here, and wait for the first enemy to spawn. If you see the red dot, or slightly before that, start running. Only one spawned, that's random, and you can snipe him. Don't run where you don't have to run. Now we go back, same old, punch them. There will be a red bandana dude. He needs a few more hits. That costs a lot of time, but... Well, it's necessary. That one here. You can use grenades as well. If you see... Oh, I did there, nice. That, that, that saves a lot of time. If you can take one out of the equation without running, without shooting, without anything, just by throwing the grenade you're in the clear. And this is at 134. You can do this in 130. But 134 is really good. Aim here for the 140 mark. 140 is fine. I am rearming my sniper rifle here for the upcoming wave and that's a bad thing to do. Because you can just jump to death down the cliff and you will spawn again with the the full sniper rifle. I didn't know that by then since this was the third three star stage I did. So don't buy anything, just jump. The upcoming siege wave is the frustrating part about this stage because it is sort of random where the enemies will show up. Plus they have a medic or multiple medics and you have to finish every single enemy off and if they're behind some cover and you don't have a grenade, it's really hard. 
even if you have a grenade, um, it's quite difficult to hit your target because most of the covers are uphill. Another thing are the hunters. Keep track of the minimap and try to avoid them. Throw grenades to stop them from running. So basically exactly the opposite of what I did here. And um, go full measure. Just don't care about your, your health. There's no time for hesitation. There is no time for regeneration. If you die, if this fails, then it's over. That's okay. Start over, try again. But keep in mind that you have to practice stage 4 and 5 as well. There's nothing more frustrating than uh, doing stage 3 in time and then realizing, oh shit, I have no clue what to do in stage 4 and 5. So keep practicing and in the end it will come down to one very good try of wave 3. Like this one. Well, the upcoming wave is a survival wave, again. Um, buy some grenades, loot the golden pump gun, I forgot its name, and loot the snipers, so you have your M14 rearmed. There you go. And then you want to go over here, because there's a reason you want to start the wave from here on out. Wave 14 has a brute. And we do not want the brute to spawn in a prison cell, we want him to spawn in an open field. So we have to wait here till the wave begins and then run, run across the map. There will be one little guy, just punch him. And then kill the brute. You can do it my way, with throwing grenades and then just shoot the rest. Or you can just shoot him. If you manage to kill him off in one magazine, you'll be fine. The rest of the wave is basically wave 11 and 12. Kill as many as fast as possible. And don't get nervous. I got nervous here because I realized, hey, this could be the try. And I started to play shitty. Don't do that. Take care of this rocket launcher guy, he's a real danger. And don't forget, you have to shoot snipers. Don't punch them. Since they backpedal, then they shoot you. That's, that's a bad thing. Back into this circuit, where every other enemy spawned. Punch your way to victory. And this is it. 4 minutes and 7 seconds. That's actually a very good time. Now we have 1 minute and 53 seconds for the last wave. And that's where Mystical Expert comes into play. You can buy more than one Spirit of the Djinn. And that helps. You're going to save some time during the treasure hunt. But it's not necessary, it's 5 to 10 seconds. As I told you in the beginning, if you don't have Mystical Expert, you'll be fine as well. So, wait for the treasure to spawn on top of this tower. Shortly after the sound, they begin to spawn and go. Jump over to the building, press your circle button to fall through the roof, and if you have two spirits, trigger your first here. Try to slow down at the edge. I failed there. I had to go back one second. I lost there. And this is the tricky part. You want to get every single treasure with one jump. And in order to do that, you have to face in the direction of the second treasure and just grapple shortly after you jump. So you run over the edge, you jump, and shortly after that, you press your grapple button. And then you have to adjust the camera. The game is programmed in a way that you can only collect treasures you see. It doesn't matter if your character is exactly placed in the treasure. If you don't see it, you can't collect it. Well executed, it looks like this. Then you want to collect all the treasures on this platform here. And there's the next tricky part, the second jump. This time you want to jump straight to the first treasure. Um, again, run over the edge, jump, and shortly after that, grapple. And this time the camera adjustment is even more important. Um, this is what it should look like. And then get over to the tunnel here. Um, choose the right ladder. And then climb on top of this building. Here you need a very long jump, 
at the highest point grapple and then use your camera to land on the crate. This is where you pull your second Indra. Don't forget the treasure to the right here and now you can dash. Dash multiple times until you reach this point. Memorize my pattern. Collect that one over the hole. Drop down here. There's one easy to forget. This one. And then run across the room and do the dash. That's the dash. Now we're on the first floor. Collect those five. And you have to jump. Jump to the highest point before you use your grapple. Otherwise you will miss one of the treasures. And start rolling. Since the snipers will flood the room and they can kill you. Over here and then jump down. The last three ones. Four. And this is it. 5.44. Actually a very good time. Don't expect this to work instantly. It will take you a few hours. Or a few hours more. But um, in the end you will get the three stars. The important part is don't let the game rattle you. The random aspects can be frustrating. But if you stay calm you will eventually get there. So thanks for watching. And maybe we see us in the next video. Bye-bye.